Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. Welcome everyone. Today we're going to count down the 15 most valuable Topps baseball rookie cards from the 2010s. And I thought this would be a good time to do this as we're sort of getting getting into the heart of baseball season here. Uh, we're going to look at a bunch of different cards from a bunch, bunch of different brands from these 15 players. But for the sake of the ranking of this list, we're only going to look at the values of their, their most basic Topps or Topps update card. Uh, no variations, no uh, short prints, no parallels, those sort of things. Just their most standard basic Tops rookie, either tops, uh, either tops or tops update, and we're going to rank them based on their PSA 10 values. So yeah, let's uh, check it out. Starting us off at number 15 is Ronald Acuna, whose rookie cards are from 2018. That's his uh, Tops Chrome Sepia Refractor rookie on the left, and that fancy looking card on the right is a Bowman's Best Atomic Refractor autograph. Uh, that card looks very expensive, and it is four-time All-Star. He was your, your uh, reigning NL MVP. Hit 41 home runs with 73 stolen bases last year. That is ridiculous. Uh, his Topps rookie is one of the most overproduced cards of all time. 2018 Topps update. Uh, that's why it comes in at number 15 here with the PSA 10s only going for about 40 bucks. You can see PSA 9s about 15 and raw. You can pick them up for about $10 or so. Number 14 is 8-time All-Star and 10-time Gold Glove winner Nolan Arenado, whose rookie cards are from 2013. That's his 2013 Topps Chrome Gold Refractor Auto on the left and his 2013 Topps Heritage Rookie on the right. Arenado on a uh, Hall of Fame track here. If he's not there already, his career numbers put him very, very close to the Hall of Fame worthy uh, as is, and he's still just 33 years old. His 2013 Topps Update Rookie, uh, like the Acuna we just saw, sells for about $40 in a uh, PSA 10. Coming in at number 13 is Juan Soto, who, like uh, Ronald Acuna, his rookie cards are from 2018. This is 2018 Topps Archives rookie on the left and a flawless patch autograph out of 20 on the right. The flawless is an unlicensed brand, but still a really nice looking RPA. Uh, Soto already has a career war of over 30, and he's only 25 years old. That is a pretty amazing start to a Major League Baseball career. His 2018 Topps update, like the Acuna, is one of the most overproduced cards of all time, so uh hurt, hurt, hurts its value because of that with a PSA 10 currently going for about 45 bucks or so next up at number 12 is Corey Seager of your Texas Rangers previously of your Los Angeles Dodgers rookie cards are from 2016 that's his optic uh, I guess it's his blue hollow maybe purple hollow on the left and his tops Allen and Ginter rookie on the right uh, Corey Seager, one of only four players in Major League Baseball history to win the World Series MVP multiple times. That is a uh, pretty elite list with the other players being Reggie Jackson, Bob Gibson, and Sandy Koufax, all three Hall of Famers and all three first ballot no-brainer Hall of Famers. His 2016 Topps uh, rookie, which is the batting variation being the most sort of standard, also uh, not an expensive card at all. On a PSA 10, you can pick one up for about $45. Number 11 is perhaps the biggest surprise entry on the list, at least for me, and that is JT Realmuto, and no offense to JT here, but I just wouldn't have expected him to crack the top 15. He gets a benefit because he's just not in very many uh, sets in his rookie year, which is 2015, so he has a, a lot fewer rookie cards than basically everybody else on this list. Uh, he does have 35 career war, three-time All-Star, and two-time Gold Glove winner as he enters his mid-30s. His uh, 2015 Tops Update rookie sells for about $45 in a PSA 10. Number 10 from 2014 is Jose Ramirez. That's his Donruss Classics rookie on the left and his Topps Chrome Autograph rookie on the right. Ramirez is leading the league in RBIs as I record this in uh, 2024, but perhaps by the time you watch this, that will no longer be the case. But five-time All-Star, Ramirez already has 46 career war at the age of 31. That puts him on a pretty decent chance of eventually making the Hall of Fame. His 2014 Topps rookie in a PSA 10 sells for about $45, and yeah, if you want to pick up a nice raw copy, you can get one for around 5 bucks. Coming in at number 9 is Aaron Judge, whose rookie cards are from 2017. That's his 2017 Stadium Club Autograph rookie on the left, and his 2017 Topps Fire rookie on the right. Judge most famous for hitting 62 home runs in 2022, when he also won the AL MVP. That 62 home runs is an all-time American League single-season record. His 2017 Topps Rookie, this is the catching variation. There's actually quite a few variations of this card, but the catching is the most common, and it sells for about $75 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 8 is the only player on the list who is no longer active. I'm going to pause for three seconds if you want to try to guess who that is. 
Buster Posey, whose rookie cards are from 2010. That's his 2010 Bowman Platinum rookie on the left and his 2010 Topps 206 Mini rookie on the right. Uh, Seven-time All-Star, also won an MVP and a batting title, and uh, probably most importantly, three World Series rings. His 2010 Topps rookie sells for about $80 currently in a PSA 10. Number seven is the first baseman for your Los Angeles Dodgers, formerly the Atlanta Braves. And that's Freddie Freeman, whose rookie cards are from 2011. That's his 2011 Bowman Chrome rookie on the left and his 2011 Topps Chrome Orange Refractor rookie on the right. 57 career war, seven all-star games, an MVP, a gold glove, and a World Series ring. Puts him pretty close to career, you know, Hall of Fame caliber career. He's uh, still going strong at the age of 34 as he finished third in the, uh, in the NL MVP voting last year. His 2011 Topps rookie in a PSA 10 sells for about $85. Number six is another NL first baseman from 2011, and that's Paul Goldschmidt. That's his Bowman Sterling rookie on the left and his Bowman Chrome Auto rookie on the right, again, both from 2011. Seven-time All-Star, four-time Gold Glove winner and MVP. Uh, Goldschmidt is sort of winding down in his career here as he is 36 going on 37 with a career war of 61. His 2011 Topps Update rookie sells for about $90 or so in a PSA 10, and you'll notice the, the, the top of this list is sort of heavily weighted towards the earlier cards. Uh, that has a lot to do with the fact that there were uh, much less print runs in the early uh, part of the decade as opposed to, you know, 2017, 18, 19. Number five from 2012 is Bryce Harper. That's his Bowman Chrome Blue Refractor rookie on the left and his Panini Prism rookie on the right. Two-time MVP, seven-time All-Star. Uh, Bryce Harper has 47 career war at the age of 30. One that puts on a, on a very nice future Hall of Fame uh, pace. His 2012 Tops Update rookie has a bunch of variations. This is the most common, and it goes for about $100 or so in a PSA 10. Number four, Jose Altuve, whose rookie cards are from 2011. That's his 2011 Bowman Blue on the left, and his 2011 Bowman Sterling on the right. A lot of hardware for Altuve. He's got an MVP, two World Series rings, eight-time All-Star, three batting titles, a gold glove, and more. Uh, his tops rookie, his tops update rookie, sells for about $105 in a PSA 10. He benefits a little bit, kind of like uh, Raul Muto. He's just not in a lot of sets in his rookie year, so he has fewer rookie cards than other players on this list. Number three is the two way sensation Shohei Otani, whose rookie cards are from 2018. That's his tops archives rookie on the left and his finest red refractor auto on the right. The card on the right is numbered out of five and would probably, I don't know, sell for six figures or so, or if not six figures. It would be um, approaching that. Otani is a two-time MVP, and his numbers are absolutely ridiculous. Video game-like numbers. you got to go back over 100 years to find another player who is uh, dominant as both a hitter and pitcher in Babe Ruth. And Otani appears like he'll be able to do it for a lot longer than Ruth did, at least as a pitcher, although he is not pitching this season because of injury. Uh, he does lead the league in a number of hitting categories as I record this. His 2018 Tops rookie, he actually has a bunch of them in, in the base set and the uh, update set. A lot of variations of each, but this is sort of his most common. 2018 Tops uh, pitching variation card number 700 currently goes for about $110 in a PSA 10. That despite a very high pop count on this card. The silver medal coming in at number two is Mookie Betts, whose rookie cards are from 2014. That's his 2014 Donruss rookie on the left and his Bowman Chrome rookie on the right. Betts one of the few players whose uh, Bowman, uh, first Bowman Chrome card or first Bowman card is the same year as his Topps rookie. Betts uh, has 68 career war and MVP, two World Series, seven All-Star games, and six gold gloves. Those numbers alone would probably get him in the Hall of Fame if he retired today, and he is only 31 years old. His Topps update rookie from 2014 goes for about $165 in a PSA 10. And number one should be no surprise, Mike Trout from 2011. You're looking at his Bowman rookie on the left and his Bowman's best rookie on the right. Trout's had a number of injury issues over the last few years, so he's no longer sort of king of the hobby as he was for much of the decade. Uh, Otani has really taken that title for now, but with three MVPs, 11 All-Star games, and a career war of 86, Trout would already be a, a lock first ballot Hall of Famer if he were to retire today, and he's only 32, so hopefully has some something uh, more left in him. His 2011 Topps Update rookie has become one of the most iconic uh, modern baseball cards that there is. It currently goes for about $1,000 in a PSA 10. That's actually way down from the peak a few years ago, uh, but it does land as the number one most valuable Topps baseball rookie card of the decade.
But that's it. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And let me know if anyone was sort of surprised by any of the rankings uh, from this list here. But until next time, have a, a great rest of your day and eat your vegetables. Thanks, everyone.